Okay, so the advantages of having one tool with three independent measurements, sigma decay saturation, carbon oxygen elemental yields, or the ratio of carbon to oxygen, and the new SAT-G from the long detector allow us to do three phase oil, water, and gas saturation with one trip in the hole. So this will allow us to go in with one trip in the hole with one tool and identify where the oil is, the gas is, the water is. It allows us to get the mineralogy, it allows us to get the porosities, and will help identify for the customer where the sweet spots of the formation are, where to perforate, and where to frack. Previously, we had no solution for low salinity or mixed gas saturation. This is where SAT-G comes in. It's gonna allow us that gas saturation in mixed salinity reservoirs, and carbon oxygen is gonna give us that oil saturation mixed salinity reservoirs. This will open up for secondary and enhanced oil projects. One of those projects is in the Permian, where we find where they've done water flooding, they've done acidization, and they're now doing a CO2 flood. Because of all this flooding, the original formation water is now mixed and unknown. Our sigma saturation now has very high uncertainty and can't be used for accurate saturation analysis. Now we're now left with carbon oxygen saturation, but carbon oxygen, or the ratio of carbon to oxygen in the formation, Without that saline dependency, it only works for oil saturation and must be corrected in the presence of gas. We now have the new gas saturation. It works in low and mixed sal salinity environments. We can now combine SAT-G with carbon oxygen to create a three-phase answer in low and mixed salinity environments. I'm Chris McElroy. I'm Halliburton's Global Pulse Neutron Product Champion for integrated case tool solutions and wireline and perforating.